In the previous episodes, we have talked about cell wall synthesis inhibitors. Penicillins, cephalosporins and some other drugs inhibit cell wall synthesis. The tetracyclines are another family of antibiotics. As the name suggests, there are four cyclic structures that are fused together to form the final structures. Now, tetracyclines are broad-spectrum antibiotics, which means they work against gram-positive and some gram-negative bacteria. Also, they work against some organisms other than bacteria. Bacterial ribosomes are called 70S ribosomes. Now, let's not get into the technical terms already. Rather, we must point out that human ribosomes and bacterial ribosomes are not one and the same. So, our drug, tetracyclines, target the bacterial ribosomes only. Bacterial ribosome has got two subunits known as 50S and 30S subunits. Now, the tetracyclines target the 30S subunit of bacterial ribosome. Thus, protein synthesis is inhibited. And inhibited protein synthesis ultimately leads to the death of bacterial cells. Now, some of the bacteria have got an efflux pump. Now, what's an efflux pump, you might ask? Well, it's a type of machinery that helps bacteria get rid of the tetracyclines that are inside the cell. It basically expels all the tetracyclines and gets rid of it. Well, some other types of resistance is also observed. Some bacteria contain a specific protein that prevents the drug from binding with the 30S ribosomal subunit, while some other bacteria contain a specific enzyme that inactivates the drug. Tetracycline absorption is decreased when ingested with dairy products. Dairy products contain calcium ions. Calcium ions form non-absorbable chelates with tetracyclines and hence the absorption rate is decreased. Tetracyclines can also form chelates with iron supplements and antacid preparations which contain aluminium and magnesium ions. Thus, iron supplements and antacid preparations can hamper the absorption of tetracyclines. Now, tigacycline is another drug that is very similar to tetracyclines. It is used in complicated skin issues and soft tissue infections. The main difference in mechanism of action of tigacycline with tetracyclines is that it binds with the bacterial 30S ribosomal subunit reversibly. Thus, it can easily be removed by bacterial protein or enzymes. Hence, this antibiotic is known as bacteriostatic antibiotic as it cannot kill bacteria, rather stop the growth of bacteria.